paintings that come to mind about me are tornadoes, because I've kind of gotten known for painting storms and tornadoes, and oceans, but largely tornadoes. I've been doing these like landscapes and things, and I had one that was of like a field and a sky, and my close friend was involved in a lawsuit where the other side was lying, and they won. The energy of that anger, I started just pushing it into the into the sky. I had like this this old tube of paint, and it was like old and hard, and I just started like rubbing it by hand into it. So that was um, this painting here, Weatherwise Mag. This one here. So this is the first one that I did, and as you can see, it's it's a storm, but it's not a tornado per se. But I got such a different response to this one image that I decided to pursue this this range um, with more intensity. I started painting when I was about two and a half or three years old. My mom was an artist and or she'd been trained in the arts and she set me up with crayons and paints and brushes and started teaching me when I was really young. What appeals to me to paint changes over time. I've always got this feeling for having a spiritual message underlying the painting. And in the beginning, I really liked painting portraits because I had this idea that I wanted, you know, the soul to emanate through the eyes and that we're all connected in the same field of consciousness at our deepest level. And I wanted to portray that through the human face. And in fact, I did a series of portraits that were kind of... Um, ephemeral. They were painted on raw canvas just with linseed oil. So in other words, just the oil, the clear oil with a little bit of soot for dark. And the idea of that was that the consciousness was coming through all these, so, uh, the multiplicity of ways that a face could be, but at the deepest level it was still the same consciousness, it was still God's consciousness. So at that time I was really into painting faces. Later it shifted into the outer world, into landscapes, into how that same God energy permeates the natural world. And then I was really into doing oceans for a while. That was really my favorite because I just love that feeling, you know, of the water and everything. But the storms provided a really good vehicle too because then I could get into talking about kind of the darker aspects and about, I mean, I believe you've got to sort of go through your own dark night of the soul to get to the God stuff. And so when you're able to put the dark and the light in the same image, then you've got a really more powerful image. I'm currently having a, a show at the fabulous O.K. Harris Works of Art in New York City, which is at 383 West Broadway in Soho. Uh, the gallery has been there 40 years. It was started by Ivan Karp, who is an art historical figure. He figured highly in the beginning of the career of Andy Warhol. You can see my ad here in Art in America magazine, February issue. This is, this is my ad for the show, um, page 46. This is my card for the show. <laughs> um, this is the fulfillment of a lifetime dream. It's a major gallery, and this is the one thing I wanted more than anything in my life was to show at a major New York gallery. My hopes are for the word to get out about my work, for people to come and see the work, for my work to get known, and that in that knowing that I can travel and show the works around the country, possibly around the world, um, that I get you know a larger body of collectors that you know eventually have fame and fortune, just like everybody else's dream. That's my dream. That's my hope.